Hello and welcome to Studio KE. Today we are going to review ScreenFlow, which is a screen recording software, which is an alternative of other softwares like Camtasia. So, uh, if you have not installed uh, ScreenFlow, uh, there's a link below which will redirect you to where you can download the ScreenFlow. And for them that have downloaded the software, all you need to do is just to come here and um, uh, configure the recording before you begin recording the very important things because it's very important to know what you are recording so uh, it comes with this welcome to screen flow 10 um, then there is a permission uh, to do all these things you have to enable the recordings cameras microphones screen cap and keyboard capture and stuff then there is a recording where we're going to review it later on um, we have a new document where we have the screen dimensions. You can choose uh, various screen uh, dimensions like the 4K, 1440, 1080, 720, web, iOS camera. This is where you are dealing with the phone, the iOS, yeah, exactly. And um, or you can just record them directly here if you want to. And uh, after that, you can you click the new document here. The next one is new from template where you in case you have a template that is loaded that is where you save us then you have a recent document a uh, recent document is where maybe you've already recorded some uh, some documents before and you need to open them so it's a very handy um, it's a very handy toolbar here so let's go back to the new recording device so whenever you're recording assuming I don't want to like to record my iPhone so you use the built-in uh, display and this now opens up the webcam in your in your in your computer then there is uh, the record uh, what you need to capture in the computer you can use the microphone and stuff you can use the iPhone depending on what gadget you've you've installed um, then on the other side you have the record the that record the, the, the thing you're going to record uh, assuming it's an audio you have uh, various audios you can use the computer audio but I have uh, installed um, a microphone and that's what I'm recording with so after that you can click uh, here the record alternatively you can use this this helps you to uh, it's an adjustable you can take it wherever you want you can adjust it to whatever screen screen that you want assuming you want a certain uh, screen to record a certain uh, screen only this is where you 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 adjust it you also have it, once you're ready to record you click this button um, alternatively when you click here it can give you the default things which you can just click and they will adjust themselves and so that's about that um, then we have on the apps on the app here, up here but there's the iPhone if you need to the if you need to record the phone and you can alternatively you can remove it then on the app uh, top right there's a settings here which you can in record the desktop frame rate which is 30 FPS 25 PF but I will just leave it at the highest the time timeline frame rate I like it to be like 30 frames per second you can uh, also record in loop especially when you need to loop at the very end of the recording assuming maybe in terms of minutes uh, maybe you can record 10 minutes after so the name the moment you click uh, 10 minutes it will loop that the very end of the recording then you can also tell it to stop recording at a certain time minutes and time then you can click the set timer that's the very end uh, of recording of this um, so I hope you've learned, learned something here and I hope to see you in the next class on the next tutorial. Nice time. Bye.